up readers Mad here and in today's video I am going to be reviewing the boy in the striped pajamas okay I know I'm supposed to be telling you guys the end of the book in the end of the video but it's so unextraordinary that I can't resist it okay I'm gonna read it right now the story of the boy in the striped pajamas is very difficult to describe usually we give some clues about the book on the cover but in this case we think it is important that you start to read the book without knowing what it is about if you do start to read this book, you will go on a journey with a nine-year-old boy named Bruno. Sooner or later, you will arrive with Bruno at a fence. We hope you never have to cross such a fence. So as you guys just realized, the main character of this book is a nine-year-old boy named Bruno. Yeah, I know! The story starts with Bruno catching his maid going through his stuff. He then realizes that he and his family are moving to a house as big as a mansion on top of a hill and in the middle of nowhere. There is a fence separating the house from a wall. At first Bruno did not know why the wall was there but then he makes a huge discovery. Bruno's room is on the top floor so he could see everything outside of his window. First he saw the fence, then he saw the wall and then his eyes lingered to the people of all ages in striped pajamas. They had to move to that house because of his father's work. His father works in the army, you see, and he had to move to the house, which Bruno had no idea why. And one day, he goes exploring to find where the fence ends. Instead, he runs into a boy hardly as aged in striped pajamas, and they become friends, just like that. <laughs> the boy in the striped pajamas' name is Shumel. One day before Bruno was supposed to go back to his hometown, which was Berlin, he went exploring to find what was the deal under the other side of the fence with Schumel. And that's where the story ends. No! 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 God, please, no! I really, really loved the ending because it was so unextraordinary. It leaves you with a million questions. This book is written by John Boyne. I would rate it a 5 out of a 5. Don't forget to go hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell, and also drop a like on this video. Before I end this video, I would like to thank you guys for all the awesome support you guys are giving me. So, don't stop subscribing, don't stop liking my videos. Thanks. Back to his hometown. Town. My voice cracks a lot. No, hey, sorry, 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 oh, sorry. Mix it up. And in today's video, I oh my god, oh not again. Catching his maid, catching his maid, catching his maid, catching his maid. <laughs> yeah, boy. That I say. That I say. Uh, what do I say, Carol?